Hello, Aberlin. I like your idea for your installations. I think you have some good ideas for these prototypes. Uh, I, I, I was reading over your intent, and everything's starting to come together. It's starting to make a lot more sense, and I, I've liked some of the concepts you come up with, especially with Freud. I do like this one statement where you talk about how um, we all want to return to this original state that we're kind of, you know, in between the two. Uh, I, that might be something that includes to your artist statement, which I believe is coming along very well. I was uh, thinking about the titles. I'm wondering if uh, maybe less is still more. Maybe don't even put anything. Maybe just the, the amount of seconds for the exposure and that's it. And let the viewer figure out if this is something, you know, showing um, life or death. Let them try to figure it out. Because I like it when I, I don't know what the images you have where I, they're so abstract. I really can't make out um, exactly what I'm looking at. And my, my mind starts to explore all these ideas based off of your statement. Uh, I was looking at this uh, reef. I think this is a it's a neat idea to have at your exhibit. Uh, it I was thinking, you know, I've I've seen some other things sort of like this that you might could create. Uh, one of those could be uh, um maybe a condom flower, and um these are uh, been this is um, one I found that they were celebrating uh, World AIDS Day in 2013. But it's a little uh, website, and it just kind of tells you how to make all these different kinds of flower arrangements using condoms. You know, I think about funeral processions. I think about all these different types of flowers, too, that, that are that are at the funeral. So that might be something you could do. You could do also. Um, so this uh, website um, I found, I just did like a Google search, and it has step-by-step uh, -step instructions how to create some of these. That might be something to think about, at least. Uh, you know, you're talking about this uh, death shroud, and um, that I think that's very, uh, very literal or, or very visual way to show something that's, that's in a literal sense about, um, you know, the use of condoms actually being a death, you know, um, about life dying by the condom. Uh, I'm a little bit, a little bit stretched from trying to figure out how, you know, it ties in exactly with, you know, having an orgasm. Um, but, you know, I think I'm more about protected sex and you know the whole idea of not wanting children which that is what's in the pornography that you're showing so uh, I believe you can get by with that and it works well this I just had to, had to think about it for a second but I think the idea of something like this could work and maybe you don't have to use actual condoms this uh, you can just make them yourself and make them look sort of like a condom I think would work this maybe if you had a title for this one it would say it uh, looking at the deathbed, I started thinking about um, Tracy uh, Emmons' work about her bed. And I, I looked at some of her stuff. But she uh, recreated these, uh, I guess it's actually her actual bed. And it talks about the MC and, uh, you know, uh, the things that, uh, part of her life, you know, it's kind of a very, very personal exhibit. It's an uh, installation that she has. Um, her work might give you some ideas, might be some inspiration for you. And uh, there's a couple other um, artists that have done similar things, but I, I definitely think um, there's a place for that with your exhibit, too. I think I uh, like the idea of it, <clears throat> you know, as, in, as in the type of frame. I don't know if that really matters or not. You Maybe you could even use, like, a wooden frame that looks more like, you know, um, a tree or something or made out of posts. But, like, again, I don't think that's going to be a real killer you could actually have it in the ground i guess too but there's all kind of things you could think about with that um but anyway i really like how this is coming along and what you're doing with it and i look forward to seeing what where it goes next best of luck to you